Hi everyone, my name is Jenna. I'm in 10th grade and I play the flute. So today we're going to go over some flute anatomy, how you put the flute together. I'm going to tell you some fun things I like about the flute and then I'm going to play a little excerpt from one of my favorite solos. So let's get to it. So the first part of our flute is going to be the head joint. Now the head joint is going to be what you blow into. Um, that's going to allow the flute to make a sound. I like to I like to mess around with it sometimes. It's just a fun little thing to do. Um, so that's the head joint. Um, next, you have the body. The body is where most of the keys are going to be located. Um, the keys are where you press down to make different pitches. This allows you to go higher or lower, um, so you're not just playing one pitch the entire time, because where would the fun be in that? Um, but to put the head joint onto the body, you're going to place it in this hole, and you're going to screw it on. Um, you want to make sure you always screw it on in the same direction, because otherwise um, it will wear down in an uneven pattern, and then you'll have trouble getting your head joint where it needs to be. Um, when you're screwing it on, you want to make sure the hole is lined up with this key right here. Um, that's going to obviously make it easier for you to play and finger at the same time. Um, the last part of the flute is the foot. The foot is kind of cute. It has a couple little keys, you know, not much, um, but it's still important. So when you screw it on, you're going to screw it on the same way you screwed on the head joint. Just put it on here and you screw it always in the same direction again. Um, and then you're going to line it up and line it up to the middle of this key. Um, that's going to make it so you can, so you can play basically. Um, some of the, now there are different variations of the flute. You have the open hold such as this one and you have the close hold like this one. Now the close hold flutes, um, these are going to be better for beginning players because you're you're already learning how to play the flute. You're already thinking about embouchure fingerings. The holes are just one less thing to think about. Um, the open hold flutes, these are for more advanced players. They often have better tone, but the closed hold flutes still have great tone. They sound good. It's just if you're more advanced, you want to sound better, you can get an open hold one. Hi guys, sorry I forgot to clarify one thing when I was filming earlier, um, but when you're lining up this hole with this key, you want to make sure it's lined up with the middle of the key, not on one of the edges. Um, so some things I like about the flute, um, there are a lot of things I like about the flute, um, but a few are, I love playing lyrical pieces like waltzes, stuff like that. Um, the flute is perfect for that, you know, it sounds really nice, all this kind of stuff. I also love the range of the flute. Normally when you think about the flute, you think about like high pitches, like loud, high, stuff like that, but the flute can also play low pitches. Um, I actually love the tone. I love the sound quality of the low pitches, um, even more so than the high pitches. So now I'm going to play an excerpt from Pan Pastoral. So that's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you soon. Bye!